In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take an object like this and grab it so it sticks onto items like this. And you can repeat that and scale it and all sorts until you get some fun like this. So I've got a UV sphere in the scene and I've got some sort of object that I want to attach to this and I want it to rotate so it points outwards from the sphere. So our snapping tools are up the top here. So if I turn on snapping and then change this to face, so any object I now select will snap to the faces of any other object and then press G to grab, move this towards my object. You can see that when my cursor goes over the object, it starts snapping to it, but it really isn't snapping how I want it to. You can see that it's kind of in the middle of the shape there and it's inserted itself into the shape there. So I'll undo that. Within the snapping tools, we have something called align rotation to target. So I'll tick that and then press G to grab. And now it's starting to align, but not quite there. And again, when I move my cursor away from the object, you can see it stops snapping and then starts snapping again. But you can see it's also got this line pointing outwards, so it's starting to get the idea of the rotation. I'll undo that. The important thing here is snap width. We want to change that to center. Currently, the closest part of this object here, if I press G to grab, is snapping to the object. But we want the center, the object origin, to be the point that it snaps from. So again, I'll undo that. I'll go to the snapping two properties here and change it to center. Now when I press G to grab, you can see it snaps according to the object origin and it's rotating as well and lining up nicely with our object. I can now press Shift D and duplicate lots of these around. I'll undo that quickly and I'll just point out one more thing. The object origin is in the center of my object here. If I press one to go to front view, that's the point that will snap to the outside of the sphere. It works well in this case because the sphere is cutting into this object like this, and the whole of this object is therefore inserted into that sphere. If I go into edit mode and select all and press G to grab in the Z axis, I move that up to the bottom here. And then once again, I press Alt D this time to create an instance and Alt D again. You can see that that object origin is sitting on top and therefore our object is not inserting into the sphere. But if I go back to my object, I press period key to zoom in on that, go to front view and select all in edit mode, G to grab, in the z-axis and move that down slightly so it's inserted into the sphere back into object mode you can see my instances because they are linked duplicates they will update when i go into edit mode and change things you can see that they are inserted into my sphere so quick reminder snap to faces with a line rotation to target and snap with center point enabled and that is how we can snap objects around the surface and make amazing items like this weird space mine if you want to know how to make this, then let me know in the comments and I'll make a follow along tutorial. It's fairly straightforward. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.